It's the start of district play this week for the Walk-On Indians as they travel in North Fayette Valley to take on the Tiger Hawks. Walk-On coach Chad Bierman joining us and coach a game against uh, Crestwood last week. Uh, even Steven 7-7 game at uh, halftime, uh, Crestwood pulled away in the end. Uh, what caused the game to get away from you in the uh, second half? Well, to be honest, I think some of it was opportunities we had in the first half we didn't take advantage of. Uh, I mean, we had a nice drive going um, and uh, <clears throat> we were going to be receiving the kickoff second half. So I was thinking that we would you know, finish out that drive and, and be in position to take the, the second half kickoff and go down and go up, you know, maybe by two scores. And instead uh, we turned the ball over, uh, end up seven, seven at half. Uh, they kicked off, uh, pinned us deep, had a snap go over the punter's head. Uh, so we get a safety right away, kick off, give them the ball at midfield. And again, you know, I mean, we had a chance to stop them, but we just didn't. And, and they scored. And I think kind of things snowballed there for a while. And by the time we got things back under control, we were down, you know, basically 30 to seven at that point and 37 to seven. And um, I mean, the kids kept fighting. We did get a block punt and, and recovered two onside kicks to, to make a bit of a comeback, but um, we couldn't get defensive stops. And uh, I mean, ultimately, that's what cost us the, the game. And looking at the stat sheet, uh, you struggled to get the running game going last week. Uh, how much of that is stuff you need to execute better? How much of that uh, was the Crestwood uh, defense playing well? Their, their defensive line uh, did an excellent job all, all game. Uh, they uh, ran a lot of, of uh, slants up front, and we didn't do a good job picking them up. I mean, we'd worked on it during the week, but uh, seeing you know the scout team isn't quite the same thing as seeing uh, their kids, and they did they did a great job of getting through the line, and uh, we didn't pick those slants up. And um, you know, so the passing game was a lot of Noah scrambling around trying to find space to throw it. And, um, and then the running game, yeah, we just couldn't make consistent creases anywhere. And, and then we did have, we had two fumbles too. So, And uh, numbers wise, you put up some uh, decent numbers in the uh, passing game. Granted, the way the game was going, that probably uh, forced you to throw the football a little bit more. But did you feel uh, something clicking uh, within the passing game with the numbers you put up? Well, I, and to be honest, we had receivers open that we missed or we had, uh, or vice versa, we had the uh, you know, ball that, um, several of them should have been caught. They could have, so I mean, we could have been pushing realistically, could have probably been pushing 400 yards if, if uh, either some of the passes have been a little bit more accurate or the accurate passes have been caught. So, um, um, yeah, there were a lot of opportunities there that we didn't take advantage of. And, and again, the, the running game, obviously, we've uh, been pretty heavy tilted towards running over the years or the last couple of years at any rate. And um, so that's a little frustrating. We weren't able to run the ball better, but like I said, they, they did a great job in their offense. They did a good job finishing drives and taking advantage of there were a couple times we didn't line up the way we were supposed to, and they hit us right where, you know, where it hurt us the worst. And the non-district uh, portion of your schedule is now done. District games from now on out, and these are the games that count towards the postseason is uh, the simple message this week. Uh, what's happened in the past is in the past. we got to keep our eyes forward. And that's that's what we said right after the game is that, um, you know, right, we're zero and zero going into district play. So um, and we, you know, have a big tough opener for the first week of district is a, you know going to be a good game, I think. But, um, you know, other than the lessons that you should bring with you, you can't sit there and linger on, on you know, what happened last week. And what are those lessons you need to bring, take from that game uh, moving forward or from the non-district play in general? Um, our line play just really needs to pick up. I mean, it's, it's four of the same kids that started, or I guess it's three of the same kids that started last year. Um, and, uh, we just haven't gelled yet as a, as a group, I think, uh, we expect that to happen, but for whatever reason, we haven't been able to make that happen just yet. Um, we know that the passing plays will be there and we just need to be more consistent in the running and, and as the offensive line kind of settles in I think the run game will will, will come forward and, and then defensively we just got to make sure we get lined up right so we have a good chance to play play solid defense and this week you mentioned tough test going down to North Fayette Valley who's off to a three and oh start in watching their film uh, what has impressed you the most about the Tiger Hawks well I mean they they've traditionally played very good defense um you know they got a <clears throat> couple shutouts already this year. Um, the offense is, is consistent, you know, it's the wing tee and, and then they're kind of diversifying a little bit more, adding in some wrinkles. 
Um, so, I mean, they, they played very good defense, obviously, and um, it's the same, you know, like I said, you go back 30 years and you'll see the same uh, running offense that they've used. And the reason they use it is because it works. I mean, um, it's hard to argue with the, the success they've had offensively over the years. So, um, and actually it'll be interesting because a lot of the same kids that played against each other in the offensive and defensive lines for both teams, the last, you know, last year we had two games with them are back. So this will be kind of interesting to see how that's evolved. All right, uh, coach, hopefully you can uh, get one number one uh, this week. Keep your kids healthy. We wish best of luck. All right. Thank you. Chad Bierman, head coach of the Walk-On Indians.